Whew. My heart is racing right now. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's great to be back on your phone screen, your computer screen, your TV, whatever it may be that you're watching on. Thanks for having me guys. We're gonna have a great time fishing in this video. It was a really fun one. Yesterday I got out before a big storm came through. It was a little bit sketchy being out there with the thunder clouds coming and I saw lightning on the horizon and everything, but the bite was really, really good before that storm hit. And it's a video that I'm super stoked to share with you guys. We used a bait that I've really, you know, not used before. I've only used it like a couple times and I didn't really use it for any more than like five minutes. But I'm gonna show you real quick exactly what we were catching them on in this video. And then you can see all the action right in front of you. So this right here is what we use. It's called the Slayer Rat and it's made by a local snakehead fishing lure company called Snakehead Outlaws. I'll leave the link to buy these down in the description below. But I've seen a lot of people catching fish on these lately. So I had to get my hands on some and try them out. I used this purple color yesterday and I was really impressed with this bait. You guys are gonna see exactly why here in a minute. But yeah, man, I really had a great time filming this video. It was an exciting time out on the water. As always, man, we always have a, a real fun time out there. And uh, I think you guys are really gonna like the video. So make sure if you do today, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos here at the channel. Drop a comment and please subscribe. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers and I really wanna get there. So help me make that happen. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, man. Enjoy the vid. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. We have made it back out for another snakehead adventure. It's been a little bit since I've been after the snakes, a couple weeks. So I'm really hoping for a nice fun day today. We're at 48 snakeheads for the year. I'd love to get to 50 at least. Hopefully a lot more than that today, but we're fishing before the rain and uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's usually a pretty good bite, but the sun is out. That usually makes it a little tougher. So I don't know, we'll see what happens here today could uh, potentially find some bowfin as well. We're in the spot where we got both snakeheads and bowfin that we could catch. And we're starting off here with the topwater frog, the Tekel honker frog, with the two blades on the back. We're just gonna see how it goes today, man. It's gonna be a fun one. Hopefully we don't run into any monster turtles out here today like we did in our last video. If you guys saw that, I hooked like a 40 pound turtle on a frog. It was quite the time getting him off of there. He was actually right up in one of these little cuts that I'm fishing right now, so hopefully he's not home today. I think this is actually the little pocket where he was at before. <laughs> that would be some if I caught him again. Gosh, how did that fish miss that? That was insane. It's a big fish. Oh man, let's try to get back in there. That was one of the biggest snakehead blowups I've seen in a while. He totally missed it though. Maybe he'll come back. That one kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Still kind of early this morning. Not fully awake yet, but that'll wake you up right there. Using this frog right here, the thing about it is you're usually gonna get a lot of bites on it. The hookup ratio isn't that great, but right now it's kind of like a search bait. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, if they're biting that good today. I've already got the one bite, and uh, like I said, this frog really produces a lot of bites, so if we start missing a lot on this, we'll switch over to another, like, smaller frog, maybe with some blades on it too, and then our hookup ratio is going to be better, but right now I'm just trying to find the fish, see where they're sitting at today, like if they're on the edges or if they're back in these pockets like this one. So we'll see. I'm just going to buzz it around the edges and going to see what happens. All right, so no more bites lately, so I switched up my lure here. We're going with the Slayer Rat from Snakehead Outlaws. I've only used this like a couple times before and it was just for a little bit. And I've yet to actually catch a snakehead on it. So we're gonna try to do that today. It's kind of pretty good, like 
suited to come through duckweed and stuff on the top of the water. So I'm gonna try casting those like covered areas and you know, maybe we can get something to pop out here. I like the action on this thing. Just not getting a whole lot of bites right now. This place seems dead. I might have to change up spots here soon. <laughs> bro that was probably the most insane hook set i've ever seen that thing flew over my head tiny tiny little snakehead but we're on the board first one on the slayer rat ever saw that thing like bubble behind it for a second <laughs> and i set the hook man because you never know how big these fish are until you actually set the hook and you got to set it like it's a 15 pounder obviously this one is not though but uh Hey man, we're on the board with a snakehead. Feels good to get one after a while. It seems like all the more mature, bigger fish right now are kind of paired up, going for that second spawn. And the only ones that are biting are ones that are like just not in the in the trend of the spawn right now. Like maybe some really big ones or some really small ones like this. Probably like the second smallest snakehead I've ever caught in my life. But I always love setting the hook like that. And when they fly out, it's always fun. Well, he just got off right there. Cool, you guys saw him anyway. Finally got our first one of the day. It's been like over an hour since I've been out here. Been a grind, been a struggle. Usually is when it's snakehead fishing, you know? You guys know how it goes. But Slayer Rat, finally got it done, man. I was liking the action on this thing and I was surprised that we hadn't had bites on it so far. But uh, finally got one. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I want to stay here or head to a different spot. It seems like this place is pretty dead, even though we just caught that one. I'm just not getting the vibes from this place, you know? Sometimes it's just all about feel. And I'm not really feeling it out here, but I think I'll give it like 20 more minutes maybe. And then we'll probably switch up to a different spot. Oh geez, I didn't even notice those clouds until like right now. That is looking uh, pretty sketchy over there. Should probably check the weather and see what's going on because I knew it was going to rain. There's like a 15% chance all the time that I'm planning on being here and then it's supposed to like let loose this afternoon. But I don't know, it might be happening sooner rather than later. It looks pretty freaking ominous. So I'm gonna check the weather after I make this cast because I don't definitely don't want to get stuck out here in some thunderstorms. It's happened before and it's not fun. I don't know why these fish aren't biting more to be honest. It's usually really, really good when there's like bad weather on the horizon. It's just not the case today. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are struggling too, because for me lately, the bite has just sucked. Just about everywhere I've gone, Maryland, Delaware, all over the place, it's just sucked. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or something, but I don't know, I'm just not having a good month of August when it comes to snakehead fishing. It's really funny, it's like completely sunny. It looks like a beautiful day over here, right? And then you just turn around and it looks like death over there. Like, 
two completely different days and I'm like straight in the center of it. It's weird. I hope he stays on, man. It seems like a good fish. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, right before the rain hits. Get in the net. Yeah, man, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh, man. I didn't really think I got a good hook set on him, but I guess I got a good enough one. Right when it hit the water, that thing just kind of destroyed it. And that's snakehead number 50 on the year for me. So I know I started out with the goal of 100 to get in 2022. I don't know if I'm going to meet it because it's pretty late in the year and, you know, the fishing's been tough. But we're halfway there anyway, so that's cool. Slayer rat once again. This guy's feisty as anything. Definitely a better quality fish though. I must have landed right on his head. Look how he spins as soon as I get the grippers in his mouth. That's why these addiction bait grippers are super, super good because they just rotate like that. So when they do that death roll that we're all used to, it just spins right along with them. I'm not sponsored by addiction baits, but I will leave the link down in the description of the video if you guys want to check these grippers out. I always get a lot of questions about those, but definitely a much better fish than that first one of the day. Feels good to get on a solid snake, man. It's been a while. He's got a really cool pattern too on the back of him. Like some of his scales are missing. It looks pretty neat. About a solid four pounder right there, dude. He's thick, he's heavy. And uh, he's looking at me. <laughs> All right, my man, much appreciated. Thanks for biting. Second one ever on the Slayer Rat. It's a nice one. Feels definitely, feels really good to get that fish, dude. Feels really, really good. Back down you go, my guy. Appreciate you. Whew. My heart is racing right now. It's nothing like a good snakehead blow up, dude. Nothing like it. All right, let's get back into action, man. Still don't see like a whole lot of activity going on. Like I don't hear him feeding. I don't see him moving around, but we've been out here about two hours and gotten three bites, two bites on the Slayer Rat, and we've got both of them. So I'm gonna try to keep this rolling, man. Maybe pick up a third, get the hat trick. That's like the kind of bites that I was expecting today before a storm. That's how it usually goes. Like it hits the water and you get a bite. That's just how it rolls before the storms a lot of times. Dude, dang. There's two of them right here. There's two of them. The one that I hooked and sent flying into orbit and then there's another one right here. Just another little guy. It's kind of a similar hook set to my first one but he didn't stay on that time. But things are happening, dude. Like they're biting more than they have been. That one right there, you've got sent flying about 15 feet. It's the first snakehead ever to land on Mars. dude let's get it I knew there was something over here I saw the bubbles behind my lure oh yeah bite is on for sure as soon as those like dark looking clouds that you guys see up there rolled in man turned on like that glad I didn't leave so I was really considering it sheesh 
Another little chunky one, about the same size as the last one that we landed. Nothing too big, but man, these fish are fun. All right, we're gonna get a quick release on this guy because he has definitely seen better days. He's literally missing a whole entire eye. You guys see that? And his mouth is all mangled up from somebody else catching him. But he's a fighter, man. He's still surviving with one eye and a jacked up mouth. That's crazy, dude. That release though, it's nothing like it, man. It's a lot of fun. Seeing him swim off and just dart away like that. Hard to beat. It's turned into a pretty decent day out here. Like it really started off slow. Thought it was gonna be tough and it has been tough, but it's really turned on. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was a big one. That was a big one. Hopefully I can get my line untangled real quick. Get back out there. Dang, dude. That was a big one. Dang it. It's the worst part. You miss it, you miss the hook set, and your line's all tangled up can't throw right back in there like I want to right now you know when you see the fish's back come out of the water though it's a big one. Oh, great it's starting to rain on me <sighs> let me uh put my phone in the bag so it stays dry all right let's get back in there see if that fish won't come back maybe The way they're biting right now, I don't see why you wouldn't. They seem really fired up. Oh my gosh. I don't even think that's the same fish. I was, oh, I was way further behind. Wow, man, I'm getting a lot of bites, but that was a tough hook set because he was so far away and he just didn't stay on. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the sounds of that. It's getting closer every second too, man. I might have to bail. It's not worth risking my safety out here for some fish. Well, unfortunately, the weather's gonna cut it short today, but I do appreciate each and every one of you for coming out on this adventure with me. It was a productive day. I wish we could be out here longer, but the Slayer Rat got three nice snakeheads for us, and we had a lot of fun while we were doing it. So if you guys did enjoy being out here with me today, make sure to smash the thumbs up button down below. Please leave a comment too, say whatever you gotta say, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos here at the channel. But Hopefully I don't get struck by lightning on the way out of here and can keep making some videos for you guys. I'll catch you all next time. Later. Have a great day.